Alan Shaq Strong back with another video review and this time we have the World of Warcraft Mega Box set number 91024 the Dragon Turtle with the Pandaren Brewmaster named Winpaw and he is a monk a Brewmaster monk and he has the same front just like all the other sets in this example I'll show you the last one I reviewed which was the Worgen Death Knight on the Wyvern just uh, noticeable differences other than different characters and different mounts is since this is an alliance the color around the ring is blue and this one is horde and it has red around the ring and really no other noticeable differences other than that's but there's the dragon turtle on the front with the pandaren right in him there's the top with the Pandaren. Then here's the back. We have all the available sets that you can get. And these are the small ones, not the big ones. Then we have the Dragon Turtle, the Pandaren. And it has the armor uh, applied onto the figures. It shows you it's a uh, clip on. And then the Pandaren can ride the turtle with the little hole on his back going into the clear peg, which I'll get to in a second. And then his uh, armor and his uh, staff, which is pretty cool. And then there's the side of just some random Pandaren. It's a monk, I think, but not that figure, which is sad, but they can't individualize all these packages. And the figures do come in these little bags. The smaller stuff comes in the small ones, as well as this one. And the dragon turtle and all the bigger pieces come in this bag. Set those off to the side. Let's take a look at the instructions real quick. It's just normal mega block instructions for this set line. And it just folds out. Shows you how to make the turtle. As well as the seats. And it also gives you a inventory of all the pieces that you get and how many you get of each which is pretty cool and then it has a completed figure and other than that there are the instructions let's take a look at the dragon turtle this is really nice he is a nice dark blue got some silver paint apps in his uh, beak it's a beak ring or nose ring I guess that's a nose ring because the turtle's nose is right here, I believe. That's silver. Then we have yellow eyes. And some red in the mouth. And then some dark gray in the horns. This head is posable, like that. It can turn 360 degrees. The shell does pop off. So I'll pop it off like that. That's how you assemble it. But as you can see, it's a nice dark dark blue and the other pieces of the turtle's armor is a nice dark green color and there is some paint apps for the like rings or whatever on the turtle's tail this is posable like that then he has a collar of gold around his neck then on the other side really nice um, details and the underside of the turtle this is part of the shell underneath or at least the uh, the plates that protect the underside of the turtle. I forgot what they're called. I did a turtle um, science project a long time ago. I should be able to name every single part of the turtle pretty much. But this connects just like this. And that connects like that. And then we have this nice shell with the seat on top. And then we have these lanterns made out of clear plastic, and they do move individually, and then you can bend them down, but I like the hem how they're supposed to be, like that. Then we have the reins here. The turtle has nice uh, glossy paint on the shell. The head can also move up probably about that much, but the, uh, the shell does no, like hampering in the movements. It's just the actual turtle head that does the 
repairing. Then we have this little, I guess, storage for the figure. You can't really put anything in it, but it's just there for decoration. And then we have the clear peg, which the Pandaren can sit on. But this turtle is pretty poseable. You can get some nice poses out of it. You can make him stand upright. You can get him in a running pose. But it's pretty nice. But anyways, let's put the turtle off to the side. Let's take a look at the Pandaren. I think this is one of the higher up uh, tier armors, I think, for Mr. Pandaria. Which is pretty cool. It's like a tannish yellow with some uh, red orbs or beads. The Pandaren is brown with white. It's pretty cool. Nice face sculpt. Looks like he's smiling. Can't look up. And he also has the braids in his goatee slash beard red, which is a nice touch. There's the top of his armor. It's like a dark, dark, dark green or blue. Then he has painted claws. And he also has sandals on, which is really nice. He has peg holes. And he has his bamboo staff that he can hold anywhere on the staff, which is really nice. He can hold it in his other hand, like that. He also can do wield, like that. And then he can also put this on the back like this, and have it like that, which is really nice. And then, he can ride the turtle, he just unplug, unpeg this, and put this clear peg into the back of him, like so, and he can ride the turtle, like that, and I think he can also ride it without it, put that peg right back in his back, and you plug that in like that, then you can have him still riding just by holding the reins like so it starts to lift up a little bit just gotta move him until he's down and not being risen up by the reins probably do it underhand actually that'd probably be better But there you go. It's a pretty nice set. If you guys are a completionist, you probably want to get this. It's a really nice representation of the Pandaren turtle mount. It's a really, really nice set. Not the best one. I think this is probably my third favorite. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for a lot more videos to come.